All right, so we're going to build this from scratch. And the first thing we're going to start with is a new substance. So let's go to new substance, and we'll get this pop-up. <clears throat> and I'm going to call this new substance um, soft skin for slug viathan. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep the size mode as absolute. Uh, my map size is 2048 by 2048. I'm going to keep it at 2048. And then we have outputs. So our outputs, <laughs> thanks Kristen, um, our outputs are what we're going to build into or what we're going to layer into our material. So at, by default, I have diffuse, normal, and specular, and I'm going to want more than that. So I'm going to add a couple of outputs, and let's see, I want to play with opacity. I want to play with uh, ambient occlusion. Let's go ahead and add a couple more. I want uh, emissive. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in height. And live video card does not support it, but you can also use displacement. Um, so let's see, we have diffuse, normal, specular, opacity, ambient occlusion, emissive, height, displacement. These are all, all values that we can map inside of a uh, substance. So once I have these outputs selected, and you, know, you may not need opacity, you may not need, you may not have emissive elements on your character, so you might not need emissive. Emissive is, is light emitting from the surface, right? Um, one thing I am going to want on here in addition to this is ambient, because I'm going to want a little bit of, if we have something that's, uh, that's organic, it's always going to have a little bit of ambient light. That's light that's passing through uh, the translucent surface that is the skin and bouncing back out. Um, we can do that with subsurface scattering in other renderers, um, but we use the ambient property to toy with that or to simulate that um, in our maps in, our re in, in real time. I don't think Substance 4 supports subsurface, and I know that Unreal does at the moment. Let's see if we have it. No, but there we go. We, I mean, we have refraction, we have reflection that we can map out, roughness. Um, I don't really need those. So I think I'm good with what I have. So I'm going to get rid of that last one. All right. So once I have this, oh, by the way, I can also um, apply a template, right? And these templates have pre-canned outputs. So there's metallic roughness and specular glossiness. So you can look at these two as this is for hard surface, and this is for um, for soft body tissue. All right, so now let's click on OK. We're going to get a new uh, substance here, and I'm going to go ahead and delete my demo substance. So let's close this up. There we go. All right, so now you can see in our graph editor, or in our outliner, we have all those outputs that we were, that I put in, right? So if we zoom in here, you see my ambient occlusion, height, displacement, all that stuff, right? And it's a little bit hard to read, so um, Managing real estate inside of Substance is a little difficult. Having dual screens helps a lot. So if you have dual monitors, that will help you out a lot. So I'm going to minimize some things here while we work with this. And by default, you will see not your model in here. right? I'm going to show you how to load in your model. Um, but what you'll see instead is a cube. Right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up our low res model. 
So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to say link 3D mesh. Let's go to my folder here, substance work. And there's my high res. Let's go to slug by and soft OBJ. That's my low res. There we go. And then make sure that it's being viewed here because you won't see it here until you double click there. Right now it'll update in the 3D view. Now I know it's super tiny, so let me try to zoom in. Let's go to display and turn off the grid. There we go. 